गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट विद अ न्यू चैप्टर चैप्टर नंबर इलेवन ह्यूमन आई एंड कलरफुल वर्ल्ड एंड वी विल डिस्कस द टॉपिक ह्यूमन आई एंड इट्स पार्ट्स बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द चैप्टर जस्ट रिकॉल यू हैव स्टडीड ह्यूमन आई इन क्लास एट्थ In class eighth, you have studied about human eyes. So now tell what is inside our eyes. Yes, correct. You can identify different parts such as cornea, iris, pupil, eye lens, ciliary muscles, aqueous humor, vitreous humor, choroid, retina, etc. we can see things only when light coming from these things enter our eyes yes after reflecting from these things when light enter our eyes through pupil we can see these things eye is one of our most important sense organs which help us to see this colorful world eye has a roughly spherical shape having a diameter of 2.5 cm approximately the outer coat of the eye is white it is tough so that it can protect the interior of the eye from accidents now let's begin with our chapter human eye and the colorful world our first topic is human eye and it comprises of four new terms cornea convex lens optics and eyelid cornea it is the outer tough white flexible coating of the eye convex lens a lens which is thicker from the middle and thinner from its edges is known as a convex lens it is also known as converging lens optics the branch of physics which deals with the study of light is known as optics eyelid when you close your eyes the muscles which compresses and expands which helps the eye to close is known as eyelid human eye the human eye is less than an inch in diameter roughly 24 by 22 mm not quite spherical being slightly flattened at the rear and bulging at the front it is the most valuable and sensitive sense organ which uses light and enable us to see the colorful world around us now coming to the parts of human eye you can see in the figure there are many parts naming them iris ciliary muscles sclera choroid retina fovea centricals which comprises of cone cells optic disc also known as blind spot where image is not formed optic nerve having blood vessels suspensory ligaments lens cornea and pupil now let's discuss them in detail first cornea the outer tough white flexible coating of the eye called sclera is white and has a transparent section at the front called cornea this is responsible for most of the eye's reflection having a refractive index of 1.37 iris the colored iris made from circular and radical muscles controls the intensity of the light reaching the retina and protects the eye 
in very bright conditions by controlling the diameter of pupil it gives color to the eyes you can see in the figure blue colors green colors and brown colored eyes pupil the pupil is the central empty part of the iris and it can vary in diameter from 2 mm in bright conditions to 8 mm in darker conditions eye lens it is a complex multilayered double convex lens which is held by the ciliary muscles the lens has a yellowish color which filters out shorter wavelengths the eye is not as sensitive to shorter wavelengths as to longer wavelengths ciliary muscles to view distance objects the ciliary muscles expand to make the lens thinner and to view closer objects the ciliary muscles contract to make the lens thicker and for the normal eye an object placed at 25 cm in front of the eye is said to be at least distance of the distinct vision with age ciliary muscles tends to deteriorate and hence our far view and near view also shifts that's why you have seen that some old age persons wear spectacles aqueous humor and vitreous humor the eye contains the fluids aqueous humor a clear salt water solution with a refractive index of 1.336 and vitreous humor a gelatinous substance with a refractive index of 1.337 choroid inside the tough sclerotic wall is a dark layer the choroid which is well supplied with blood vessels absorbs stray light a thin layer of 0.1 to 0.55 mm thick of light receptive cells cover much of the inner surface of choroid retina it contains about 20 crores nerve cells near the back of the retina are photoreceptors two types of receptors are found there cone shaped cells and rod shaped cells rod cells help us to see in dim light and cone cells identifies the colors there are about 3 crore rod cells spread over the retina and there are about 70 lakhs cone cells in the central part of the focus centricles which only contains cone cells now optic nerve whatsoever the image is formed on the retina is converted into electrical signals which is further taken up to the brain by optic nerve where these nerve join the eye the retina there forms a blind spot whenever the light falls on this optical disc this blind spot no image is formed as if there is no rod cell and cone cells present here so this spot is known as blind spot as you can see in the figure there is an object and the image formed of this object is inverted this inverted image this information is converted into electrical signals optic nerve take these electrical signals to the brain further the brain processes the image and makes it upright by again 
inverting the information so this is about human eye now come to the assessment part you have to define the following terms first one is iris yes these are colored cells circular and radical muscles which gives color to the eye eye lens a double convex multi layered complex lens which is held with help of ciliary muscles pupil it is the central empty part of iris optic nerve takes information from the eye to the brain and this information is in the form of electrical pulses blind spot the place where optic nerve joins the eye and no road cells and cone cells are present there no image is formed on blind spot and the last one is retina yes it acts as a screen image is formed over retina having about 20 crores of nerve cells in the last summary human eye is very important organ which makes us unable to see this beautiful world cornea is front and transparent part of eye pupil controls the amount of light entering the eye ciliary muscles hold the eye lens in proper place and controls it focal length and in the last there is homework for you you have to solve assignment number 22 thank you